Good evening and welcome back once again. Hopefully you did watch the last video. It was a strange game. We did not perform well at all. We were 2-1 down in the 90th minute. Scored a free kick from Vieira and then we won it with pretty much the last kick of the game. I think there was about a minute left of injury time. So we somehow won 3-2 against Porto and we're now through to the knockout stages. Today we are playing Levante. We've had to mix things up again just due to some tired bodies. A lot of matches going on at the moment. Noyes in goal. We've got a back four of Zirkov, Ogbonna, Kosinu and Trippier. Bellingham, Mariba and Pedri in midfield. And Castro, Mudrick and Lee Kangin are starting up top. And we did get a message before the match to say Mudrick is on a good run of form. That means he will develop quickly. So we want to start him as much as possible. So he's starting today. We have actually got a gap of around about 10 days after this match. So he was on not full energy. Um, but it doesn't matter too much because we can rest everyone after that. So hopefully he'll, he's going to certainly improve very quickly over the next, well, however many matches he gets to keep that uh, that condition. And it also means he's in good form anyway, which is a, a good thing to have. Castro out wide to Kang and Lee. But yeah, that, that last match was strange, very strange. Great ball in. Oh, Madrid just couldn't get on the end of it. But we were actually really terrible in the last game. We should have lost. It felt a bit scripted as well. Like the AI, everything was going their way. Um, you know, even little things. But we didn't perform well. And somehow we clawed out a, a victory. Um, yeah, free kick from Vieira on the in the 90th minute. And then Diaby with a winner in, I think it was just over 93 minutes. But anyway, on to the day, back in the league. Castro back in form. He's been on a bit downward condition over the past few matches. Pedri getting hassled there. And Lee Kang in's in here. Well, I'm not sure what happened there, but I had the ball. I've went to put in the cross. Slipped over. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. What a strange one. I wasn't obviously trying to tackle him. That's, uh, I would say, unfortunate. Good tackle from Trippier there. Where are you Now Bellingham. Trippier on the support again. Oh, and again, a good ball and just no one could get in the end of it. Here's Mudrick. Pedri. Not like him, he gives the ball away, gets tackled. Good tackle from Kosinu. To win it back though. Castro, Mudrick. Mudrick again. Oh, great finish. It goes through the keeper's hands though. I'm not quite sure. I mean, there was a lot of power in it. Nice little passing between him and Castro. But yeah, I think the keeper's got to be saving that. Or at least getting a stronger hand on it. But we're taking the lead. That's what we wanted. Wanted a better start to the game than the last one. Already Trippy has been involved on the right a couple of times and net probably should have had an assist, to be fair. He's put in a couple of decent balls. Good 
tackle there from Zirkov. Mudrick has no support, but he's charging on anyway. It's a nice ball to Zirkov. Ah, that was poor. Should have been able to keep the ball there. That's a good tackle, but it was poor defending in the first place to let him in. Massive gap there. Get a free kick, but I would have rather played on. The ball was uh, heading towards one of our players. Oh, nice play by Trippier to Bellingham, uh, to Kangali. Pedri, that's nah, deflected. Why didn't Kangali? He's not having a good time, Kangali, is he? Bellingham, really nice ball. That's ah, over. Decent effort. Nice play from Mudrick. Obviously, with him being on up, it's not a surprise, but he's uh, been one of the better players in this match so far. Oh, that's a poor pass from him, though. And somehow, yep, okay. <laughs> well, 1 0, probably should have been more. We've got to be careful though, because uh, we have left some gaps at the back. Not that they've really had a, a clear cut chance or anything. Oh, really nice play to Mudrick there. He's got to be in now. Oh, it's well wide. How has that gone that far wide? Especially when you're on and up, it's um, I'd say it's more difficult to, to hit it wide there than it is to hit it on target. Strange one. Anyway, we'll go again. A nice play again. And this time it's in. Almost identical situation. 1-2 from Castro. And that's what it should have been before. Nice but little ball around the corner from Castro there. Really nice finish. And that's what our centre fours are good at. Castro obviously scores a lot of goals as well, but but there is a focal point. Flick the ball around the corner to the wingers. Um, he would get a lot of our goals. And that's a nice way to finish the half, getting that second goal, which we I think we deserve. Um, we've played well. I think we've certainly been better than a, a one goal lead. Could be more here before half time though. Oh, that's a poor ball from Kang and Lee. He's been poor this half. He's obviously got that yellow card that he was a bit unlucky for, but he's uh, he hasn't played well. And that's not the best of balls. Metric does got on the end of it though. Here's Bellingham. That should be half time. And it is Mudrick with a double. Strangely, Pedri not involved too much in this game um, compared to, to normal. But Mudrick's just been on absolute fire. So. Oh, nearly a nice ball through to Castro. It was the right thing to do. It was a very difficult pass to. To pull off. Oop. Don't know why Trippier stopped there. He would have easily had the ball. Oh, come on. That's a that's a good tackle. Got the ball. And played it against our legs for some reason. Honestly, referee. I don't want to see replays of every single tiny infringement. Oh, 
Oh, Mudrick's on the charge now. Now Castro. Castro again. Mudrick. Nice ball through. Should have scored, but Castro does. Castro following up. Fox in the box, as he's known as. It's a really nice ball from Mudrick. Should have scored here, Mariba. But nice finish from Castro. Well, not so much the finish, but the follow-up. Being in the right place at the right time. That's what he's good at. Now, can he... No. <laughs> I was going to say, can he contribute something positive, maybe? Um, just as I'm about to say it. Gives the ball away. He has not had a good one. Ball through Mudrick. Look at the weight on that and the curl. Oh, I thought that was in. Forest hat trick. Let's have a look at the bench now. I'm only going to make the two subs. I'm going to bring Herrera on for Bellingham. And I'm going to try something a bit weird and different, which is I'm going to try Xerxes in that right wing position where Kang and Lee has played so poorly today. I'm going to switch it to a second striker. Now, obviously, normally I'd put him up top, but I'm going to try him over there, see what he's like. And there's nothing to say. Why Xerxes can't play over there? I mean, normally I would say, well, maybe switch Castro to the right and then Xerxes can play up top, for, for example. Um, or switch him for Castro, like for like normally, and Castro would go off. But I didn't want to take Castro off. Um, I've never played Xerxes in that position, I don't think. So let's try him, see what he's like. Oh, nice ball by Castro again. And there it is, the hat trick for Mudrick. And Castro with another assist. Really calm finish there. Sixty stone off. Really nice ball around the corner from Castro. Mudrick just gets out of defender and a calm finish with his left foot. Clearly going to be man of the match today. And often when players are not just on and up, but when they're on that developing sort of situation where they're developing quicker, um, you'll often find them putting in very good performances just the way it is and you want to try and not force that but if you can get them on the ball more try and get them in situations where they're likely to score uh, or get assists for example it's just going to increase your chance of getting a good rating which will also increase your experience I believe um, Pedri now now Castro Pedri and gets the tap in Mariba not sure what happens Pedri got the shot away keep a good save but um, again in the right place at the right time from one of our players you can see him bursting in mid from midfield Mariba if I can get my words out decent save by the keeper and defence are just all over the place yeah he couldn't do much more than get a hand to it no one marking Mariba though. Sorry, it's just a fly annoying me at the moment. Clear it out. Jesus. Nice play there. Now Castro. Nice little ball through to Xerxes. It's a first time. 
Oh, what a finish. What a strike from Xerxes. You can see Castro bringing the ball out. Nice little dink over the top. Sits up nicely. Just struck at first time. But what a finish that is. Yeah, nice little ball. But an absolute thunderous strike from Xerxes. Well, switching him to that right-hand position and putting him as a second striker, clearly that's an option. But traditionally, I've always been, well, if Xerxes is going to play, he has to start up front in that centre-forward position, which often means that Castro will have to come off. Um, but I don't know why, because he, he's not like a, a lumbering sort of centre-forward, really. He's not like a target man as such. Nice play from Pedri, but the second defender just got him there. It was a nice... Uh, oh. Well, bring out the keeper. No. Terrible defending. I don't even want to watch that. I know it's not, you know, probably a bit, no, being a bit unfair by not showing the goal, but just really bad defending. Brought the keeper out. It was the right thing to do. It's too late by that stage. Oh, nice footwork by Pedri. And Reba does well. Castro. Oh, should have been a goal. It was a, a nice pass from Pedri and a nice turn from Castro. But they just couldn't get the shot away. And Xerxes in here. It's not a bad ball, you know. It wasn't bad. Just couldn't get bodies in quick enough. And Xerxes went in the back again. Now Pedri. Mariba. Ah, it was a poor ball. I was actually trying to play it to Pedri, and for some reason he decided to try and play it to well, someone over on the left. Good tackle. Maybe one last chance here. Oh, terrible tackle there. It's got to be a yellow. And it is. Well, well, well. Free kick. Trippier on the ball. Oh, just didn't aim far enough left, but it was a good strike. Thought I was going to get a bit more kill. But it's full time. 6 1. Mudrick of a hat trick. Shame about not keeping the clean sheet, but as you can imagine, Mudrick getting man of the match by quite a distance as well. 8.5. But just a very good all round performance. Pedri certainly turned up a little bit more in the second half, but he was fairly quiet in the first. It was just the Mudrick and Castro show, though, wasn't it? It was the combination of those two plays. And Xerxes, in that sort of right wing second striker position, did a really good job and scored an amazing goal. And as you can see on the right there, Real Madrid only two points behind this still, so they're keeping up the pace. So I'm not sure when we play them, but it should be fairly soon. And we've had around about 10 days rest, so everyone should be fully fit and ready to go in the next match. So join us for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all then. Cheers.